Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hey, here. YouTube land. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Brother JR. Uh, just moved down from what, Kansas? Yeah, we moved here from Kansas. Yeah, not too long ago. And uh, yeah, I've been praying to the Lord, uh, sending somebody close by to fellowship in person and instead of just... Uh, instead of just over the internet and it's so much better uh, to fellowship in person and uh, we thank God and for uh, sending JR here uh, to fellowship and this basically is just a prayer praise and uh, fellowship video that we wanted to share with everybody that you know it's good to get together if you can you know um, if some brothers and sisters are close around you you know to get more connected you know sharpen each other up but uh, we just want to uh, encourage everybody, you know, that, you know, keep seeking the Lord. And, uh, you know, God God is with us if we stay obedient to his spirit, you know, listening to him, waiting on him, waiting on the Lord. And uh, he has blessed us uh, very, very much uh, uh, by bringing us together. You know, we, we this is what God is doing in these last days is bringing the body of Christ together. And uh, so we can sharpen each other up and, uh, you know, put more truth out there. So, uh, but yeah, praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm very happy and excited that JR is here and I can come visit here. He lives here in Ohio. I live in Michigan. It's about uh, 20 minutes away from where I live. So it's not too far. And uh, I'm grateful and thankful for the Lord for it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we... Uh... We were blessed. Uh, a, a brother in Christ uh, gave us this house here, uh, and uh, we were real blessed by that. So we moved out here, and uh, I knew Freddie was living out here, so I gave him a ring, and it's been really, really nice to be able to, to meet him finally. We've been knowing each other on YouTube for a yeah. lot of years, but uh, really a whole different story when you're fellowshipping in person. And, yeah. um, you know, really excited about that. Neither one of us go to church or a building, um, so this is church right yeah we're having church right <laughs> yeah, now this is church <laughs> and uh it's really nice to yeah. be able to, to fellowship with someone that i know is a true brother in christ and it, 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 we consider it a blessing and i really feel like that in these last days that's something that we might want to look towards is uh you know uh, things are going to fall apart it, at some point some delusion comes on and, and people fall away from the faith and you know they get shaken and uh stirred up and they you know your church service might not be where you're going to get your fellowship um, so, you know, for us, this is great. You know, there's someone in the area that we can, that I can hook up with and, and, um, that's church. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it was meant to be. Amen. amen. <laughs> that's how it was meant to be. Um, so, uh, yeah, we want to encourage everybody out there to, uh, you know, not just do the potluck and have it be a potluck and have it be about eating. Um, but, uh, fellowship and real fellowship and truth. Yeah. Um, we can hold each other accountable. We can yeah. pray for each other. Um, we, we can hold each other up when the other one's struggling. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the kind of thing that uh, the church is really going to need. Yeah. And the Lord sent his disciples out, what was it, 70 by twos? Yeah. Um, so maybe he's getting us ready in twos yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to do some work. Um, so we're, uh, we're real excited about this. And, um, you know, uh, just want to encourage everyone to um, to fellowship in truth and in spirit. Yeah. Where two or more are gathered in His name, yeah. <laughs> yep. here He is. Yep. Another thing I wanted to mention is that people need to see the compassion and you know the fruit of the spirit in the body of Christ. You know, uh, that way you know it's, they need to show the love of Christ and see it in us. You know, and uh, just being Amen. being together with each other and. Having been being able to just give him a hug, you know, and it's just so much better. And uh, you know, the Lord wants to see more of that, you know, Amen. more of the, that compassion, affection towards a brother or sister in Christ, you know. And uh, and people, that's what they need. They need uh, they, they they need love. They need mercy and grace. You know, without God's mercy and grace upon our lives, we uh, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. You know, we'd right. still be selfish. You know, so. But yeah, you know, people need to start seeing, you know, the love and compassion in us and, you know, knowing that, hey, we're, there is a body out here, you know, that is, a, you know, it's not a, all about scripture. There is a time to rebuke and correct and all that, but also God wants to see, you know, 
the compassion, the fruit of the spirit, you know, in, inside of us to actually just show it, you know. Yeah, we're not bound together by a building, guys. We're bound together by his spirit. Um, Amen. And, you know, when, when we get together and we, and, uh, you know, we get together in his name and in his spirit, um, he can do mighty things through us. Um, so that's what we're looking for. Um, me and Fred, uh, we, you know, we're, we're, we've, we've asked the Lord, you know, find something for us to do. Is there something we can do together? Do you have some ministry for us to do? You just want us to go out there and start preaching, whatever you want us to do, Lord. Um, but if nothing else, we can at least be here and be uh, encouraging yes. to, to the rest of the body. Yes. And, and that's what we're trying to do is encourage you guys to, to get together. Find someone in your area. If you're not going to church, we still need to fellowship. Yes, um, yes. You know, we don't want to we don't want to be forsaking the gathering. Yeah. And this is exactly what he'd mean by the gathering. Yeah. This is the gathering of the saints. Yep. <laughs> saints getting together and gathering. Amen, brother. <coughs> Amen. Well, that's uh, probably all that I've got to say. Uh, anything else you come and throw in? No. Um, just, uh, you know, thing, uh, lots of things are happening out here, guys. I mean, you know, we, we, no one knows the date or the time, but it looks like, you know, to me, it looks like this is the season <laughs> yeah. where he's getting ready to return and we need to uh we need to all be drawing closer to him yes. and uh, it, it's just an encouragement I, i've been struggling lately and i and i've told the brother fred that i've been struggling um and how i knew i was struggling is because I, I i checked my fruit basket and, and if the fruit's not looking real good then there's something wrong some kind of delusion i've taken on so you know i prayed the nuclear prayer this week and i just i, I told the lord you know I, I i need to be i need to be there for you god and i, I want to be used and i want to be faithful so show me you know in truth I, I will listen to whatever you have to say show me what you want me to know show me what you want me to change change my heart you know get it right so that i can work for you in this hour and, and thank you jesus that's exactly what he's done he always does it whenever i really want to um to know everything that he wants me to hear, that's when the hearing opens back up. It's when it's when it's when I'm holding something back deep in the recesses of my mind or my heart that I'm not hearing clearly, and that's when the fruit starts to get a little bit uh, brown. Yeah. But uh, uh, we go to the Lord and we say, Lord, what do you you know? Show us what you want out of us right now. What do you want us to right. do? You know, how do you want us to live? What do you want me to work on? And when we go to Him in that spirit. For we right. really, truly want it. The Lord will right. not reject. He will give us that knowledge. Yes, amen. And, and, and thank you, Jesus. That's yeah. exactly what it does. Yes. Yes. So, oh. lights lit, lamps burning. Yeah. <laughs> ready, yeah. ready to do some work. Yeah. One more thing that just came to uh, to my attention is also, uh, yeah, also when we fellowship together, like, uh, like in person, we can speak a lot more. You know, we can talk a lot more without having to type. And you know what I'm saying? It's right. just texting and typing and all that you can't really get a full you know conversation out you know it's like takes too long you know and email and all that but if to actually be in person you can just talk a lot more in depth you know and understand each other a lot better you know at the same time you know so that that's why it's so important to just find somebody in your area and any brother or sister or Pray about it. God leads you. Don't you know? Pray, pray for for God to send a brother or or sister in Christ, you know, your way, or or if He sends you somewhere, you know. Um, Amen. Pray about it. Always ask the Lord for direction. You know, uh, you know He will send you somewhere, or He will send someone to you. You know, um, I prayed about it uh, for a while, for a long time. You know, I was praying. I said, Lord, you know, I've got nobody to fellowship in person. You know, yes, it's fine over the computer. You know, on the internet. But it's just not the same, you know. It's not the same to actually fellowship in person. So Man. pray about it, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's so important in these last days to fellowship in person. And uh, Amen. You know, we, we give the uh, God all the glory, honor, and praise. You know, it's it's all Him. It's none of us. You know, He He gets all the glory and praise forever. Amen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we were we were living in KC, and I did have brothers to fellowship with there. Um, and, and, and all of us have to hear individually from the Lord. We, we have to find out what his will yes. for us is personally. Yes. And, and, and for me, um, you know, I, I pray that I, I felt like I heard, yeah. and I've heard several times, yeah. that in these days, he's going to be bringing groups of us together. Um, and not necessarily in a building um, or at a potluck, but, but, but for real, um, for true fellowship, for true ecclesia. And uh, 
he brought me here. Yeah. Uh, brother Fred was praying for a brother to come, and yeah. I, I had no. I, I was just praying for the Lord to do His will. And lo and behold, a brother, uh, brother Ambrose just gave yeah. us a house, and yeah. we ended up 15 <laughs> minutes away from my brother Fred. Yeah. And we've been uh, meeting occasionally for what three or four months now. I think yeah. Three or four months now. Yeah. Um, so I'm not saying thus saith the Lord. You need to find that He's sending us out in twos right now. Yeah. But I'm. Uh, but I am saying that I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly what He is starting to set up either. Um, that he's uh, putting groups of us together yeah. so that when everything else is shaken, um, there's going to be some uh, firm roots that have been bound together that can uh, help, the, help the brothers. Amen. Um, so uh, seek the Lord's will on this yeah. and uh, praise Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Good? Amen. Amen.